Hello Capricorn, this is Debs and this is your reading for November 2023. Caps, I hope you're well. Hope you had an amazing October and we are firmly approaching the end of the year. Unbelievable. Capricorn, in meditation, I saw a guy flicking through a property magazine and he was saying to himself, I could go down the normal route. I could just look at purchasing the sort of house that I could move straight into. But his mind began to wander and what he was looking at was a piece of land. And he was thinking, well, you know, how difficult could it be? There's a lovely view. It's a lot less expensive than buying a house straight out. Maybe I could get an architect. Maybe I could build the house of my dreams. So he gave the estate agent a ring, potted off to have a look at this piece of land. And it was glorious. A massive parcel of land overlooking this incredible vista. But the estate agent said, you know, there are a few risks in purchasing a plot of land. You want to make sure that there's not going to be a massive housing development built on the next piece of land, a field, next to what would be your property. It's going to obliterate the view. You've got to make sure that if you're building a house, the soil is in decent condition. You're going to be building foundations. Where is the stream at the end of this piece of land actually running to? There could be waterlogging issues in the future. And he gave this guy a list of things that he hadn't even really thought about. And he went away. He said, thank you so much. I'm going to think about it. He went away and back at home, he sat with a coffee and he was thinking to himself, I think it's too risky. I think I'm just going to go for the sure thing. So Capricorn, you could find yourself in a situation in any area of life. You could be deciding, you know what, it's time for me to get out of the nine to five and run a business. And then this is you thinking about that and realizing mm, maybe not quite yet. There's a lot I've got to take into consideration. I'm not going to have a regular income coming in. Maybe I should wait for a couple of years. If this is a relationship, then this is you thinking you could work on a relationship with someone, getting to know someone, but it could be risky. They may still be somehow entangled in another situation or they could live thousands of miles away. There's a risk involved. What you're realizing you would feel most comfortable with, Cappy, is to go for the sure thing. OK. All right. So I feel that's the core of your reading. Let's jump in. Here we go. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia deck. <laughs> it's from Etsy. All the decks I use are down below. My website is there if you want a private reading. And if you want to join the channel, I put out weekly videos every Sunday just for my members. So Capricorn, let's delve a little bit deeper into what this sure thing may be for you. So one Kendall Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Capricorns. Cards have been difficult. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we have for Cappy, please? November 2023. Yeah, you may have been doing some research, Capricorn. You may be doing your homework. You may have been looking at a situation that you have wanted to move into in great detail. What you're realizing is... There are too many unknowns, right? There's too much that is not set in stone. And it's caused you to feel a little bit nervous about taking this risk. Wow, really? Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what we've got, guys. Whatever this risk is to you, it would as far as you can imagine, make you incredibly happy. There's a sense that, you know, I would be able to hold my head high. I would feel very proud of myself. I would feel as if I've achieved something amazing. But there's a risk. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Capricorn, with the energy of the Page of Pentacles... 
you may have had a seed of an idea in the back of your mind. Now it could be that you've just started dating someone, okay? What you've been thinking about is the Page of Pentacles. This could even be a contract. What you're thinking about is Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, I would be so incredibly happy. It would be like all my Christmases had come at once, you know? It would be amazing. Six of Wands. This is you thinking, I would be able to tell everybody what I achieved. I would feel victorious and very successful and extremely happy. But we got the strength card. This is you wanting to dive in, wanting to do this, but you're holding back. Because you're looking at things from a very logical standpoint. This is you deciding not to be impulsive. This is you deciding that it may be just too much of a risk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Some of you are saying no. <laughs> Let's see what comes through. All right. The Ten of Cups. Capricorn, there's something or someone who would make you incredibly happy. A lot of fulfillment. But you're nervous. Yeah, Six of Cups. You're thinking, Capricorn, about achieving something that you dreamed about for a long time. It could be starting a business. It could be being with the love of your life. You may have fallen in love with a childhood sweetheart. There's a chance that you two can reconcile, but maybe there's a risk involved. In the past, Two of Cups. Okay, guys, this could be love. With the Two of Cups, you fell in love with someone. The Chariot could have been a Cancerian. But I feel that this person may have moved away from you or this person lived at a great distance from you and that was a major problem. What you're thinking about is the Four of Wands. Interesting, because that can be a structure, a building. This is also, though, you planning for the future, wanting something stable, wanting a commitment. You're ready, Capricorn, to kind of put your feet under the table. But in the back of your mind, there's sort of a wish and a dream that you had previously that you know that you need to leave behind because it's too risky. It's as if you don't want to admit it to yourself, but it is. And this is you thinking, I just can't go back there. I can't go back there, even though my heart is pulling me in that direction. I just can't. In the immediate future, Cappy, judgment, yeah. You're making a serious decision with your feet firmly on the ground. You could be making a decision about a Sagittarius. What you're fearful of is that that pull to the past is going to get the better of you, that you are going to take that risk. You're worried about that. In the environment is the King of Cups. Okay. So Capricorn, if this is love, you're making a judgment call to potentially move towards someone who you know loves you. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. And you're going to turn your back on whatever this risk was. Yeah. What you're hoping to do, hoping to achieve, is cut away from the past to transform your life. I feel as if, Cappy, for many of you, there's going to be a chance for you to develop a beautiful connection with someone, but you may have still been carrying a lot of feelings, emotions for somebody from the past, but maybe they weren't totally free. Maybe they lived, again, thousands of miles away and it just wasn't practical. 
Maybe you guys have been stepping around each other for the longest time. This could have been a childhood sweetheart. Could have been someone that was a friend that you hoped maybe that one day it would turn into more than friends. But you're realising, Capricorn, you don't want to wait. You don't want to coast. Whatever this perfect situation, in inverted commas, might have been for you in the past, you would have had to have worked on it. There would have been a lot of time and energy put into a situation with no guarantees. So this is you deciding to do the right thing for you. I don't feel Capricorn as if you're going for the safe option because I feel that you have emotion for both people, let's say, but you're definitely wanting something that's going to last. Wow. So Capricorn, you are moving straight into the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment, long-term stability. Really gorgeous. This is you, I feel, when you've done this, looking back, thinking, I know I did the right thing. I chose the right person. Yes, Capricorn, there may always be a pull to the past. There may always be an enormous amount of chemistry with somebody that you knew in the past. But in your eyes, you may feel as if you've got too much to lose. You may feel this person may never leave a partner. For instance, they are still embroiled with, connected to. And this is you wanting a beautiful relationship that's going to last and so this is you making the right decision for you. Clarification. Knight of Cups. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, this is you going for the sure thing. With the Knight of Cups, there is a lot of love. But what you're thinking about is... I could grow and expand and have a beautiful life with this person, with this King of Cups. There would always be question marks pertaining to the other person. And this is you making that decision with your head screwed on. Whoever is sitting in the King of Cups, yep, yeah, Ace of Cups. Capricorn, they are fully on board I think this person has been dreaming about starting a life with you. Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, energy. This person has been wanting to manifest a relationship with you possibly for quite a while. You may have been emotionally sitting on the fence about somebody from the past, but what you're realising is you do want to move forward with this. You do want to feel as if you're putting your feet on the ground and doing what is right for you because the other situation, Capricorn, had no guarantees. And I think it made you feel a bit jittery, a bit nervous in waiting for this other person to sort of sort their life out. That's what I'm getting. So underneath the deck, Cappy, we got the sun. Wow. You're heading to the sun. You're heading to a lot of expansion in your life. This is you knowing that this is the right person for you. This is you believing that you two would be incredibly happy. And even though there may be a little bit of that nostalgia relating to somebody from your past, you're going to cut free of that and you're going to begin to look ahead really look ahead this is gorgeous guys we're ending with the ten of pentacles so cappy let's move into this and see where it goes so archangel michael why is capricorn thinking about the ten of cups and the six of cups hmm. seven of cups i think at some point capricorn you were fantasizing about building a life with someone who you believed would be your Ten of Cups. This is somebody from your past that you fell in love with, 
who you had to walk away from or they walked away from you. But this was a very difficult thing for you to let go of, totally. What's on Capricorn's mind, Michael, with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Capricorn, it got too taxing. It got too heavy for you. This person may have been embroiled in a really complicated relationship that they couldn't get out of. Maybe they were with a partner who wouldn't let them go. Maybe this person didn't want to lose a lot of money in a divorce. Maybe there was also a situation relating to distance. Well, wow, I'd have to move country to make this work with you, that sort of thing. You really wanted it to work with this person, but there was a sense of, I just don't think that I should wait. I just don't think I should wait. The world, yes. With a chariot in the world, they could have lived a long way away from you. I think you had to close the cycle out, but you were very unhappy in doing it. Four of Cups. It's as if this was unreachable. This dream of being with this person seemed to be impossible to achieve. But you sat thinking about it for the longest time. Queen of Wands. You really wanted to take action on this person, Cappy, or you could have wanted to have been with a Queen of Wands, somebody you found very, very attractive. King of Pentacles. But whoever this person was, I think was in a long-term relationship with someone else. You may have waited for this person to offer you commitment, to say, yes, I'm definitely detaching from the other person, from my partner I'm with, to be with you. But Cappy, you may have waited for a period of time and it didn't happen. And this is you believing that you should cut your losses and simply move on. But wow, was this difficult. Because with the Two of Cups... You fell in love. What happened in the past with the Two of Cups? Three of Cups. So Capricorn, you may have met this person. There was a lot of celebration. You could have met this person at a party, at an event, something like that. Or you could have met them if they were traveling to your area or vice versa. You had a lot of fun with this person and there were mutual feelings. There were mutual feelings. But I think with a page of swords, you then got a very blunt message of truth, which was, I'm not fully single. And it may have sort of rocked your world. You may have thought, oh my God, no, the one person I fall in love with is simply not available. It was very difficult. What did this person say? They may have said to you, Capricorn, you know, I've been thinking about divorce, dividing the assets. I've been thinking about breaking away because I'm not really happy in my relationship. You may have thought to yourself you could wait for them to detach. The devil, this is your energy. You could have thought to yourself, I'm just gonna hang around and wait, wait for six months, wait for a year. Capricorn, I think you were patient for quite a long time, almost a bit obsessed with wanting to be with this person, but I don't think they came back to you to tell you that they were able to get out of their connection. And I think you made a very painful decision in the immediate past to let this go. You didn't want to, you didn't want to, but I think you decided to let it go. Yeah, because what you were fearful of was that this person would continue to maybe juggle you with their partner at a distance. How would you know for sure, right? If you lived in different areas, how would you know for sure?
justice, yeah. They were in a legal contract with someone else. Could have been a Libra. Four of Pentacles. Capricorn, you really didn't want to let this person go, but you told yourself the truth, which I think was they are never going to let go of the other person. They could have been in a codependent relationship. They could have been with someone who was earning a lot of money. They would have had also potentially to have left the area they lived in to be with you. It was just too much. It would have taken a lot of time, a lot of patience, flexibility and trust on both sides to make this work. And Cappy, I think you waited for a period of time and then thought, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. So what you're thinking about now is the four of wands. You want to be in a commitment. You want to be with somebody who loves you. I believe that you feel as if you've been treading water for way too long, almost wasting time. And what you're thinking about now is, I do want to be with someone in a serious commitment. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I shouldn't hang on to the past anymore. I should move forward. Yeah. So that's what you're doing, guys. Eight of Cups. You are walking away from this past person emotionally, finally detaching because you want to simply feel as if you're moving forward in your life. You're not just sitting in the past. Yeah, wheel of fortune, wheel of destiny. You may believe it was destiny that you met someone, but you're turning your back on that emotion. I think the wheel of destiny is you being offered a brand new start with someone who loves you. This is going to be quite a serious relationship, Caps. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. Yeah. Three of Wands. So Capricorn, you've turned your back on the past. You're embracing change. You're looking to your future. You're no longer looking back. There could be a tinge of nostalgia every now and again. But in the main, I think you've got your blinkers on. And this is you thinking, I do want a relationship. No more hanging around waiting for this person in the past to get their act together. I'm not waiting anymore. They may never leave their partner. I could be wasting another five years of my life is what I'm hearing. Wow. So you are definitely looking ahead. Yeah. Page of Cups. You know what I think you're going to do, Cappy? To close out the cycle for you and maybe this person in the past, you might message them, give them a ring and say, look, I know that you said that you were potentially going to divorce in the past. You haven't done it. I've been waiting. I really hoped that we could build on this, but there's also distance between us. And so with a page of cups, I think what you're going to say, Cappy, is part of me will always love you. Part of me but I'm sorry, I have to look to my future. I have to let you go emotionally. So Capricorn, I feel as if you're doing the right thing. It may be a little bit of a painful disconnect, but I believe you've already told yourself that this is the right thing for you to do. So this is you embracing change. So in the immediate future, judgment, the king of cups. I think, Capricorn, you're making a judgment call to move towards someone who really loves you. Now, if this person is moving towards you, you're going to say, yes, OK, let's date. You may have known this person in the past, Cappy, but you may have said to this person, I'm not sure I want anything serious because you were still a bit heartbroken about someone else. I think they're coming in again, if that's the case. They do want to be with you. They haven't changed their mind. And I think they may be approaching you around about the middle of November is what I'm hearing. 
Michael's saying to the 28th of November. Okay. What is this King of Cups energy? I'm getting a bit of a sad energy. Why do I feel that? Five of Cups. Yeah. So Capricorn, they may have been patiently waiting for you to decide you wanted to be with them. They've missed you, is what I'm hearing. They've missed you. Yeah. They have been in inner conflict as to whether or not they should reach out again. They may have been afraid that you would reject them. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Cappy, I've got to be honest, this is somebody who wants to marry you. This is somebody who feels a very strong spiritual bond with you. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. They've been thinking about you, so you knew this person in the past as well. But this was the more stable option until you met whoever this was in the past and you fell in love. So you may be happy dealing with two exes. One who was single, wanted to be with you, wanted to commit to you, but you'd fallen in love with someone who was in a relationship. So that was tricky. I think this King of Cups is coming back in really hoping that you're going to want to work on this. Yeah. High Priestess. This is someone who's been keeping it a secret that they never forgot you. They may not have communicated with you for quite a long time, but they may be reaching out around about November time, middle of November, I'm keep here into the end of November. Five of Pentacles, they have felt a bit left out in the cold. Yes, Eight of Wands, they're going to be messaging you. Nine of Pentacles, so Capricorn, this is someone single, stable, independent. I think they'd be manifesting a new start with you. So Capricorn, you're sitting in judgment. You are making a decision to leave the past behind. Yeah, the star. So you are making a judgment call to leave someone behind in the past who was not single. I think, Cappy, you were waiting patiently for this person in the past that you fell for to become single. And I don't think they did. I don't think they did. So you are deciding to heal fully from that person in the past and to move forward with someone who I keep hearing is a sure thing. Is a sure thing. Temperance, yes, you know you've been coasting. You may be healing from a situation with a Sagittarian. But you're deciding it's time to embrace your future. Ace of Wands, you want a passionate new start. I think, Abby, you may be realising you wasted a lot of time. And with the Four of Swords... You've been in your head as to whether or not you should completely let this person from the past go. You're deciding to do it here. You're deciding to move forwards with someone sat in the King of Cups energy. Could be male, could be female. Yeah, Capricorn, the Hermit, Virgo energy. You don't want to be by yourself anymore. You've also done a lot of thinking about the past and you've been analysing what you want for the future. And you are wanting a commitment. You're wanting something that you can touch that's tangible. This was all wonderful, but it was a little bit castles in the sky, you know. And you're deciding to let this go. 
what's the energy between Capricorn and the person that they are going to be opening the door to? Six of Swords. Yes, you're deciding to move forwards towards this person or accept them asking you out, that sort of thing. Accept them in your life. You may be traveling to see each other. I feel as if Capricorn, whatever happened in the past, caused you a lot of stress. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of waiting. And you just don't want to do that anymore. So here we have you. You're going to be sitting in the Ten of Pentacles. A beautiful, stable commitment in your future. You're going to be very happy with the energy of the sun. So let's have a look. What is the Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn? <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, you are all about your stability. You could be moving forwards with a King of Cups who loves you, but who's also independent. They could be working very hard on a career. You appreciate their work ethic. You know you guys could build a beautiful life. And you're deciding to put effort into this. You are. You are. Three of Pentacles. You want to build a foundation with this person. You're realizing that you're ready. What is this person's energy that Capricorn is moving towards? Seven of Wands, they're a little bit nervous. They're sitting in some defensive energy. It may be, Cappy, because they know that you chose to wait for somebody else, and I don't think that happened. So this person may have been quietly in love with you, waiting for you to choose them for quite a while. They're going to be opening up to you, Cappy. They're going to be opening up. And I think with the Two of Wands, you're turning your back on something that's unknown. And what you're concentrating on is what is real, what is tangible. Right? Yeah. So I don't know, Cappy, you may say to this person, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't been in touch with you for a while because I had to heal from another situation. But you're ready now. You're ready now. Yeah. No more procrastinating. Right. Hmm. Page of Wands. Messages of passion going backwards and forwards between the two of you. I think, Caps, you're going to have a lot to catch up on. You're going to want to know what this person's done since you guys were apart. But I think if there was any kind of awkward energy between the two of you, Caps, you're both putting that in the past. This is both of you moving to calmer waters. Yeah. Ace of Swords. So if they were thinking about dating anyone else, they are now concentrating on this connection with you. They are going to realise that you have left the past behind and you are just wanting to work on a new relationship with them. This is you two on the same page. Maybe finally. Finally. What else do you want to say to this person? The moon. Okay. Okay. You may tell the truth about a Cancerian, or you may be moving towards a Cancerian. The truth may be that you were fearful of reconnecting with this person, afraid that they had met somebody else. It may be that what you're realising you have to do is push down your feelings. If there's any last vestiges of emotion relating to this person from the past, you're going to realise that you have to just let go of that. You have to make a clean break. If you want this new relationship to start, if you want to develop this connection with this King of Cups, you have to fully detach from the past. But you may be honest and say to this person, your King of Cups, that it took you a while to detach from whoever this was, emotionally, you know, Hmm. What is going to happen in the future? <laughs> Emperor energy. Wow. Talks about getting serious. You guys are going to realize that this could go all the way. Yeah. The hangman. You may be looking at things from a different perspective, Capricorn. Why did I wait so long, right? For
But this person that didn't end up leaving their partner for me, didn't end up going through divorce. They just kept me hanging. You're seeing things very clearly at this point of time. Mm, you guys are going to be talking about the future, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. You're definitely talking about the future. This is gorgeous, guys. Wow. Do we have a final card for my Capricorns? Oh, wow, guys. Empress, Empress, Emperor. That's unreal. Capricorn, male or female, I think you're going to move into a beautiful, stable connection. You could actually be committing to your true divine twin in the future. There could be marriage on the table in the future, but you're heading to the sun and the ten of pentacles. I feel this is all meant to be. So my lovely cappies, let's dip briefly into messages. Let's see what comes through. So here we go. Divine feminine, divine masculine speak from the heart. Cappy, I think you have been really struggling to close out the cycle with this past person. So let's initially get messages from them to you. All right. It may it may help some of you. So what do we have for Cappy? I'm trying to do this with my head, not my heart. Capricorn, I think the person in the past did fall for you. But they were also sitting in a very logical place. They may have thought, you know what, I'm going to lose a lot of money in a divorce. We live in completely different areas. I don't know how this is going to work out. It's too risky for me. And I think you realise, Capricorn, that it was too risky for you to hang on and wait for this person to get out of their situation. Yeah. Hmm. I pushed you away because I knew I was going to inevitably disappoint or hurt you. I think this person knew all along that when it came down to it, they wouldn't leave their partner. I pushed you away because I knew I was going to inevitably disappoint or hurt you. They knew that if they kept this going much longer with you waiting for them, with them sitting on the fence that it was going to hurt you even more. So they may actually have detached from you, but you may have been waiting for this person for quite a while to reach out to say, I'm ready to leave my partner. And I don't think they did. Yeah. Mm. So your past person, Cappy, is focusing on money and financial stability right now. I think they made a decision to stay with their karmic partner because they'd lose too much money in a divorce or they'd lose too much money if they left. Mm. And there may have been some arguments when you guys were trying to make this work. You know, the way we triggered each other felt too painful and I didn't understand at the time. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. I didn't understand at the time. Maybe there was a spiritual connection between the two of you. But I have to say, Capricorn, that if that is the case, I believe you actually walked away from a karmic soulmate and the person you're heading towards is your true divine twin. So think about that. Let's get some messages from the person that you're building this new life with. All right, this is the second part of the deck. So, Cappy, this is who I feel you're going to be building a new life with, okay? I have options and opportunities, but I still don't want anyone else. No one else is you. I think, Capricorn, this person has been waiting for you to see that they were the one. Yep. My heart is still open to you. So, I don't know, they may have headed off when they realised that you weren't that interested in the past. What they're saying is, 
It's okay. It's fine. The feelings are still there. If you're open to working on this, let's do it. Mm. Our connection is so intense. It's scary, but I accepted it rather than fight it. There's an insinuation here, Cappy, that you fought this connection. You didn't want to admit to yourself that there was a very strong connection with this other person. You may be accepting it now. All right, last message, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, this is a deep soul connection. I feel it. I feel you. So I believe this is a twin flame connection, a twin soul connection, emperor and empress. If you have the courage to really open up to this person, Capricorn, I think this person has what it takes to make you incredibly happy. The sun, right? The ten of pentacles. Just go for it. So my beautiful Cappies, I'm leaving it there. I really hope this has helped you take care of you. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you then. Bye now.